Joining me now, Senator Tom Cotton of Arkansas, member of the Intelligence Committee. Senator, good to have you with us uh, today. Um, there's well, also a report uh, today that caught our eye in Business Insider. China's already targeting Joe Biden and his team, a top U.S. intelligence official warns, and calls it an attack on steroids. Do you think that is um, legitimate? Do you think that is likely? Well, Joe Biden has been very soft on China for decades. You know, he led the charge for permanent normal trading relations, most favored nation status in the 1990s, and also to admit China to the World Trade Organization. In the course of this last campaign, he said China was not our competitors, and he was the one tasked with Barack Obama to develop a close relationship with the dictator of China, Xi Jinping. So it's no surprise to me that Xi Jinping and the higher, highest levels of the Chinese government think that Joe Biden might once again go soft on China. I hope they're wrong about that. Um, I hope that's not the case. But Joe Biden has a long history of being soft on China, and he surrounded himself so far with people who are pretty soft on China as well. Well, you know, I mean, it remains to be seen uh, how he's going to approach this, but there's a lot that we do know already about what has changed. China has the largest navy. Uh, China has infiltrated uh, areas in education, the United States education system, uh, with uh, the Confucius centers, many of which have been closed at this point. Uh, last night on Tucker Carlson's show, he played a, a very interesting video from a professor at a Beijing university. And I want you to get a look at it and see what you think. Here's a piece of that. I'm going to throw out something maybe a little explosive here. It's because we have people at the top, at the top of America's core inner circle of power and influence. We have old friends. He goes on to talk specifically at one point about a Wall Street executive that is a vice president in a firm in, uh, in the United States. Um, what, what, what do you make of these claims? Well, uh, obviously, the, the, prof the Chinese professor made those claims, and they believe those claims as well. Yeah. I mean, you can look at the kind of political intelligence operation that China ran against Eric Swalwell and Democrats in California. They have a long record of these Democrats in California being targeted by Chinese intelligence. Makes you wonder why China thinks they're such rich targets. A lot of these Democrats have been in bed with China, and a lot of them have been there for a very long time. Uh, but unfortunately, a lot of America's corporate leaders have been as well. You know, there was reporting when Chinese tr trade negotiator uh, came to America last year. They met at the Chamber of Commerce with a bunch of business executives and asked them to lobby the president, to lobby Congress on China's behalf. Sadly, that's been the case now for 20 or 30 years that many American businesses are effectively lobbyists for communist China. That needs to stop. They need to recognize that America should come first, not their profits. Yeah, I, I mean, you know... <sighs> Obviously, it was sort of a, there was a symbiotic relationship, you know, the China was growing very fast. Wall Street wanted to have deep ties uh, to, the, to that growth. Um, but it also sort of paid off, I think, in a, in a way that allowed this sort of infiltration of Chinese executives in different places and people who were likely passing information back and forth, as we hear from this professor that Tucker Carlson highlighted the other night. Um, you know, how... Americans need a very realistic look at what this relationship is and, and what we have sacrificed for it and whether or not we want to sacrifice any more, right? They do, and Martha, Americans don't want to. I, I've campaigned across the state of Arkansas, across the country this year, and I can tell you there's no love loss for the Chinese Communist Party among working Americans, no matter what the titans of industry may think. China is our adversary. China has been ripping us off and stealing our jobs and taking our factories and threatening our allies and our interests in the Western Pacific for 30 years. And too often, politicians in Washington have looked the other way, in part because China has cultivated American business to such a great degree. The time for that has got to stop. These corporate CEOs need to focus on bringing those jobs back to America or at least getting them out of China. Yeah. Because as long as you're operating in China, you are susceptible to pressure from the Chinese Communist Party. Uh, this was also shocking to me. This is DNI Ratcliffe talking about uh, from a defense perspective. And Joe Biden is, um, looks to be naming his uh, new defense secretary, Austin, General Austin. Uh, this is what the DNI had to say about something that I found quite intriguing. Watch this. From a military force standpoint, there are the People's Republic of China has a military of two million. Um, they want them to be the largest and they also want them to be the strongest, which is why they're engaged in gene editing, literally trying to alter the DNA, experimenting on uh, DNA to make uh, soldiers, sailors and airmen 
uh, stronger and more powerful. You served uh, for the United States of America. What is that? What goes through your mind when you hear that? Yeah, there's nothing at which China will stop to try to gain military dominance over the United States and ultimately replace us as the world's leading superpower so they can have their West building islands out of the sea in the South China Sea to extend the range of their missiles and bombers or um, experimenting with their own people. Mm -hmm. um, some of those experiments are probably conducted in slave labor camps in Xinjiang province. Um, there's, no, there's nothing that China won't do to try to gain dominance over the United States. Scary situation. Senator, thank you very much. Good to have you here tonight, Senator Tom Cotton. Thanks.